it was uh, I guess back for round two at this yeah, point, right? That's I mean, it, mate. Give me, give me how much, how much difference does it feel this time around? Do you, do you feel more comfortable already? Yeah, a hundred percent. I feel like now it's like I've already been here before. I know how it's all run. There's no sort of trying to figure out what's going on, what to do. Now we know exactly like the straight process and everything just seems a hell of a lot smoother. And uh, obviously I'm loving it. Yeah. I know how excited you were for the first one, right? I mean, how much did that kind of win the result? I mean, how much did it mean for you? What did it change for you to know that like, I'm not just that guy trying to get there anymore. <laughs> I've, I've got a UFC win. Yeah, it was a, it was a massive victory for me. Uh, obviously I had a very tough opponent um, and yeah, it was just an amazing feeling. Obviously having my debut, having it in Fight Island, you know, the whole thing, just, you know, having visualized it and thought about it since I was a little kid and, and, and stuff like that. So um, it was really amazing, obviously, to go out and get a win like that, get the 50,000 bonus and, uh, yeah, man, it just it just spurred me on and gave me more motivation to go out and keep keep doing doing everything that I have on my vision board at home. You know, saying all the things that I set out to do, all my goals, it just made me more hungry and determined to go and reach those goals. That's awesome. You mentioned a tough guy in your debut. You get a tough one in return too, like kind of a well-respected prospect as well. And they threw that name out there. What was your initial thought? Straight away, I said, yeah. I mean, I know in the UFC, you're fighting the best guys in the world. You can't run, you can't hide. At some point, you're going to have to fight these guys. And if I felt that I had the skill level to do so, I'm going to do it. And I do feel like I have the skill level to do so. And that's why I took this fight. You know, when, when he gave the name, I thought, yeah, he's, he's a very credible, very tough opponent, you know, highly ranked. And obviously, you win a fight like that, you're straight away out there. You're, you're right at the top, top, of the, uh, top of the heap in terms of the light heavyweight division. So, uh, of course, I love putting myself in pressure situations. I love... Uh, putting myself in, um, you know, places where people think that I'm gonna lose and, you know, I like to overcome the overcome those sort of situations and uh, I thrive off of that. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready, I can't wait. Main card slot, does that mean something to you, right? I mean oh, for, for the second fight in the UFC, you can't really ask for anything better. Um, obviously I thought, you know, there might be a possibility that I'll be on the prelims and as soon as they told me that I was on the main card and then, you know, there's a couple more eyes on you, you have to do a bit more media and this and that. But like I say, I absolutely embrace it. I love it. I've, I mean, I've freaking done dating shows and all, and all sorts and that was even nerve wracking just for me and stuff like that, do you know what I mean? So it's like, I, I love, uh, I, I would say like, you know, the last couple of years I've really started finding out myself, finding out my character and uh, yeah, it just goes to show I, I, I love throwing my myself out there in the deep end and uh yeah it just it's just very fulfilling to go out and to do tough things and and go and smash it so yeah that's what i'm looking to do that's awesome last thing for me i mean you i mean obviously the first one the goal was just getting in and proving you belong you definitely did that got the bonus already so i mean like you said a reputable name a guy that's had some accomplishments i mean what, what's the goal here i know you want to win the fight but i mean are you looking to say dude i'm already a contender are you just looking mm -hmm. to make a bonus you know I mean, what's, what's the plan here <laughs> I want to, I want to, you know, my, my ultimate goal is to be viewed as one of the best mixed martial artists in the world. And uh, like I say, you've got to fight the toughest guys. You've got to fight the guys that, that, you know, are the up and comers, the prospects and stuff like that. I know I'm going to fight loads of tough guys, but, you know, if I can get myself a slot, you know, going into the top 20, top 15 and go towards that title shot, then obviously I'm going to take that. So uh, this is obviously a bit of a, uh, a faster route, I guess you could say a bit of a tougher route. But like I say, I'm prepared for everything. What dating shows were you on? Uh, take me out. I don't know if you've heard of it. No, no, no. It's just yeah, it's one dating show. I mean, the, do you know what they actually asked me to do some finger site like, uh, hotel with your ex or something? I'm like hell no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it was. Uh, it, it's funny they've actually after that show because it's probably so bad and I did so terrible on it. They decided to stop running it now. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, obviously no no more dating shows from uh, anymore because I've got a girlfriend now. So, but clearly it must have got my name out there. Do you know what I mean? If I managed to get a girlfriend, so. What was the premise of the show? Uh, basically, there's like <laughs> there's like thirty girls. Oh, mate, I swear, I've got I've got to find some sort of link for you lot to watch. But yeah, you you basically come down what's called the love lift, and you're like me just shaking my ass in front of the cameras and stuff, and then. Uh, <laughs> That you're basically like trying to sell yourself to these girls and they've got buzzers and if each round if they don't like you they turn off their light and you know by by the end of it you're you're left with like a couple of girls and then you choose the last two and then the last one obviously if, if you get that far and then you go off to what's called the Isle of Fernandos which is basically Tenerife and uh, yeah you go out there for like two days you do you do the date and then you come home it's literally over within about four days yeah, but it's mad, mad experience. You didn't do that well? Huh? You didn't do that well? Well, I mean, I've got a date. I mean, you know, we had a good time. I mean, sure. what, what, what can I say? I've made some, you know, I've made some uh, lifelong friends uh, from that show. But, uh, 
yeah i mean the, the date didn't work out in, in terms of you know us as like sort of solidifying the future but you know i guess it made me more confident it you know put myself out there a little bit more and uh you know obviously increase my uh, notoriety i mean you know now, now when i'm walking down the street they're like oh that's that guy from take me out as much as it is oh yeah now that guy's a ufc fire okay yeah but they probably don't do that but <laughs> and then looking at uh jimmy i think he has like four ko's four submissions couple decisions is there one specific spot he shines or is it he just like he's a very all-rounded fighter you know he's he's clearly as shown by his fights he's very good everywhere he's good from stand up he's good uh uh in his jiu-jitsu and he's good in his wrestling um but yeah it's it's nothing that you know that i haven't seen before uh i've trained with some very very good guys and you know guys that push me all the time so i believe i've i've got areas that i'm actually better than him at and that's where i'm going to go and try and expose him in the notes we get before uh it says your hero is john jones is that yeah true? yeah that's correct yeah um, well, actually, a couple of years ago, um, I can't remember. I think I was—I literally just turned 22. I—I uh, I was at four and zero in my career, and I went out to Jackson Wink to uh, to train out there. And um, I'd always sort of looked up to him because he managed to do everything so young, and you know he's such a massive star, and you know he, he blew up like crazy. Um, and then when I actually met him, met him in person, and we actually we created a bond. You know, we trained together. Uh, it was it was an absolutely amazing experience. I pretty much got to train with him every single day, and I, I just obviously liked his character even more. And you see the real side of him. You see his jokey side. You see his serious side when he's in training. And uh, and then a, a couple of years later, I saw him at the Body Power Expo in Birmingham. And you know, he's, he's just a good. He's just a real good guy. So I've I've, all, I've always looked up to him because. You know he's dominated the sport, so obviously that for every fighter you want to go out and replicate the same thing.